Hi, Dr. Shook here, and this is reason number four of our 10 reasons that the thyroid patients do not recover, okay? So reason number four is that you ignore your brain health, okay? This is really, really important because so many people, they have no idea about this connection with the brain and Hashimoto's. And the fact is, is that the most common form of collateral damage with chronic Hashimoto's, so long-term Hashimoto's, is actually brain degeneration. This, uh, this process, what, what will happen with the brain is that the inflammation that's, uh, that occurs with Hashimoto's, they, it, it creates problems with the neurons in the brain. And what, we'll, what you'll see is long term is that the symptoms of brain degeneration, they look exactly like those of hypothyroidism, so depression and fatigue. So one of the things that you cannot ignore and neglect is your, is your brain health. And we know that with autoimmunity, with autoimmunity, you have to have um, one of the things that has to occur is that your barrier systems, and in particular your GI barrier, so your small intestinal wall, becomes permeable or leaky. So we've heard of leaky gut, and that lets proteins and things into the bloodstream, and that triggers an immune response. But when the when one barrier system breaks down, and the GI barrier is one of the barriers, there are four, then the other barriers are more likely to be compromised. Okay, so if the GI tract is is leaky, guess what? Your lung barrier. Is, is likely leaky and letting letting things from your environment, the uh, things that are in the air, into the lungs. Your skin, which is another barrier, is is likely also hypersensitive and leaky. Um, and that's I use that term loosely, okay? But it's 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 not the integrity is not uh, not there. And then the last barrier is the blood brain barrier, okay? And the blood brain barrier, if it's compromised, then you're going to have you're going to have a much greater likelihood of accelerated uh, excitation of the immune system in the brain and you can have a lot of problems you know so this is something that you cannot ignore your brain health is absolutely critical so with the brain what we do is we, we want to address the things that are driving the autoimmunity we want to get better regulation of the immune system and then we want to support the brain okay and, and we support the brain we can support it with um, through functional neurological exercises or basically exercises that are designed to stimulate brain activity so that we can strengthen the connections of the the nerve cells in the brain the neurons and then we want to we want to support it from a, a metabolic perspective so we want to support it nutritionally and make sure that your brain has everything that it needs to be to be very very healthy okay so I hope this is helps you to understand uh, better some of these reasons that people with thyroid problems and Hashimoto's don't recover. Reason number four is basically comes down to ignoring brain health or just not knowing that it's really important and that it's a very common uh, organ that's that, that can be damaged as a result of chronic autoimmunity and, and Hashimoto's. Okay, I appreciate you taking time to learn more about your health. If you need anything or have any questions, just let us know. Thank you.